Blah, 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 blah. Hopefully you don't hear the fire too loud. We're gonna try this though. Hello and welcome to Let's Wine About It. Da, 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 da. Like, but seriously, it's Weight Watchers wine, it's great. But speaking of Weight Watchers, they always tell you how you need to balance your diet and balance everything. And it's time to talk about work-life balance. You need a sense of balance between your work and your life. Pre-2020, work-life balance was a little bit different. A little bit different, okay? Follow, follow me here. Now, I mean, you kind of have that luxury of coming in and out whenever you want. There's no separation from house, right? To work, literally what I'm doing. This is me after work, having a good time. Buy my new fire pit, you guys, look at this. Like power, no power, power, no power, power. Being home makes work-life balance really difficult. I'm tired of hearing people saying they don't have the work-life balance. Takeaway number one, there needs to be that slight separation from Here's me working to I'm gonna spend time with my family today. If you don't have that work-life balance, schedule that work-life balance. When are you going to go to your kids' games? And when are you going to stop working and maybe make dinner? Do -do -do -do. Takeaway number two. When you're done with your workday, especially if you are a remote worker, get outside of your house. What I recommend to give you that work-life balance, and it is okay to be selfish and say it's five o'clock, I'm taking this time for me. Go on a walk, drive around if you even want to. But the point being is in that same habit, if you get out of the environment you are working in and you come back, it doesn't feel like work necessarily. And then you can finally decompress and you can finally relax. Get out of the house, come back, be recharged. Poor Mark, he has said it a lot because I just keep rambling because there's just, again, like I said, so much to complain about. Sippy cup, highly recommend it. There's a little lock, you can lock it and I can move and it doesn't spill. Last thing, last takeaway, last complaint, the whole nine yards here. It could be your significant others, it could be your spouses, girlfriends, your kids, even your four-legged kids, does not matter. You are a human being, you are allowed to be selfish, you're allowed to take time for yourself, make sure that you yourself are in a great mental state, physical state, whatever, make sure you are you and happy. With that comes that next person and make sure again that person's happy. And sometimes, I'm not gonna lie, I did this, work came first a lot where I let my physical health go and mental health go and work became my first. I guess 2.5, don't do that. You are more important than your work. If you die anything like that, work's still going. So it's fine to take that mental you time. Trying to schedule any time with my husband during the work day is not gonna kill you. I promise work will still be there tomorrow. When your significant other is pleading with you to have that moment, take that moment. If your child just wants to play Legos with you for five minutes, give them that five minutes. Say it doesn't quite work out, but tell them, hey, I can't do it right now. Like, give me 30 minutes, let me finish this up. Let's play for five minutes and then I have to go back to work, right? You need to work, obviously that's what's bringing the money in and that's what's making you successful. So next time your significant other says, hey, let's have a date night. If your kid wants to fly a kite, go fly a kite with them, go teach them. Those are my things. Now, those were my top three takeaways. Comment below, let me know what work-life balances that you wanna whine about. That is it for this week. Like I said, comment below, shout out to Kato. <laughs> awesome, most comfortable sweater ever. Johnny, I apologize, <laughs> it has a stain on it already. So Gato, if you feel like I would send me a new one, that would be great. But until next time, see you guys later.